Caleb Williams hits the transfer portal, and immediately Dylan Gabriel announces that he is flipping from UCLA to go over to Oklahoma. He is going to be paired up with his former OC, Jeff Lebby, who was with him, uh, I believe, his freshman year, if I'm not mistaken, at UCF. Uh, he had a monster, monster year with Jeff Lebby and looking to do the same thing at Oklahoma. But this is another one of those situations. You enter that transfer portal, uh, you better be careful your job don't get got behind you because now uh, Caleb Williams comes back, he's going to be, one, competing for that job, and I don't know that he could beat out Dylan Gabriel. And two, well, he's not coming back, and Caleb, again, like, this is not this is not somebody who needs to struggle or worry. No, he's, no, no. He's no. going to have 20, 20 <laughs> to 30 top-tier schools coming after him. That yes, want he will. Him. They'll literally, literally. Those LSU just got Miles Brennan back, and they're so excited he went to the transfer portal and then came back. But with it, half of Baton Rouge would push Miles Brennan off that bridge <laughs> just to get Caleb Williams. Okay, no, so you're 100 percent right. Let's be let's be real. There are 3,000 kids in the transfer portal. Guys like Caleb Williams don't have to worry. Which is just an astronomical number, isn't it? I mean, that's so crazy. There there was a lot of talk early uh, because of a few different podcasts that. Georgia could be in on Caleb Williams. Rusty Manziel, who covers Georgia for 247, he straight up said, like, he's he's kind of been tied in with both Caleb Williams when he was a recruit, and he is very heavily tied in with Georgia. There's nothing to that does. Like, he won't be going to Georgia. Uh, but it, it sounds, for the most part, like this is just, hey, I'm going to fill out the waters, da 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 He is more than likely going to go to USC. He's going to follow Lincoln now, Do you think... Do you think there's any way that he had gotten word that Dylan Gabriel was considering coming back to Oklahoma? Uh, possibly. Or that Levy and maybe called Gabriel or had a relationship where where he was like publicly maybe put some feelers out there that 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 he wanted Dylan to come come to there, and and this sparked his interest of of saying, "Hey, I'm gonna put myself out here." I mean, it's entirely possible. Uh, on the other side, there was a report from 247 that UCLA is a school to watch for Caleb Williams. It said after interest was reciprocated on Monday afternoon. Now, maybe they felt like Caleb Williams would be a better fit, and Lebby wanted Gabriel to come, so maybe they did a little swooperoo. Uh, who knows? But, but free agency, I mean, the quarterback carousel has been absolutely phenomenal. I, I wonder if... You know, I, I wonder if Gabriel didn't think that Williams was leaving, and that's why he ultimately chose UCLA. And then they decided, wait a minute, like maybe because obviously Jeff Lebby was was in the booth for the Ole Miss game. Like I doubt that he's been at Oklahoma a ton, but I'm sure he's had enough time to at least make contact and try to start a relationship with Caleb Williams. But maybe maybe they don't philosophically agree on how the offense should be run. I mean, there's all kind of things that could go on uh, with these quarterbacks and these offensive coordinators, especially with everybody changing locations. So, I mean, there's there's no telling, man. I, mean, I, I ultimately think Caleb Williams is going to go over to USC because he wanted to play for Lincoln Riley. Like, I, that's that's what I believe. But, and, and it doesn't look like Lincoln Riley is one of those guys that's going to say, no, no. We're not going to take you because you were an Oklahoma guy, and I don't want to just take the oh, roster. No, like, no. Lincoln Riley. <laughs> Lincoln Riley is the biggest hypocrite when it comes to the transfer portal that there's <laughs> ever been. I mean, now there's ever been. That's ever existed since they invented the transfer portal. Yeah. They got completely built his entire rosters off the transfer portal, but then if a kid wants to transfer out, would publicly shame, humiliate, crush, rake over the cold, and then try everything he could legally to block him from leaving. So now you there's, got that there's right. no more hypocritical person than Lincoln Rowell. Now you uh you have certainly got that right. <laughs>